Hey, Brandon here. Welcome to the channel and thanks for tuning in. We got another 2027 NFL prospect freshman scouting report. And today we're going to talk Mike Matthews, wide receiver headed to the Tennessee Volunteers. Yeah, on this channel, man, not only are we scouting rookies, but we're getting ready and we're scouting the freshmen coming in. You play Debbie, you play C2C. These videos are for you. I'm going to be joined again by Luigi Tadone. We're going to give you a full breakdown of his recruiting, his high school stats. Um, and then we're going to get to the filmer, man. We're going to see what he looks like. Is he going to get on the field in 2024 it's a crowded depth chart there in the wide receiver room at tennessee we're going to let you know so again you play david you play c2c format fantasy football hit that subscribe button let's get to the show hey luigi welcome back to the channel my good friend we have got another uh, uh really 2027 rookie profile for our debbie and c2c enthusiasts out there mike matthews man i'm excited about this one i'm a I'm, i got my ball in the studio today Got my Dr. Pepper. You got your I'm Dr. Fans, Pepper. Fansville. I'm ready to fan out with you, man. Let's do it. Yeah, I, let's do it, man. So uh, we've been really running through a lot of rookies uh, this year, or, or freshmen rather, and uh, excited for this one, man. Mike Matthews going to the Tennessee. We're going to go over his high school film. You guys know the drill if you've been watching uh, these videos. But Mike Matthews, six foot one, 186 pound. He was a multi sport athlete, played basketball. He played uh, and ran track at Park View High School. Um, actually uh, received a basketball offer from Mississippi State. So we got some athleticism and agility when we mm -hmm. get to the film room. We're going to see that. Um, he's got some speed, too. He ran a 40, 4.4, uh, 4, uh, 40. Um, so, uh, you know, he's got some speed. We're going to, like I said, see all of that in the film room. But let's go through his high school stats here real quick. Had a really productive uh, junior season, 1,000 yards um, with nine TDs. And then as a senior, played 11 games for 751 yards and nine TDs. Uh, so he was uh, certainly uh, a productive receiver. But like, going to his recruiting profile, um, yeah, he's pretty similar between 24-7 and on three. But a wide receiver nine right now. He is a 24-7 uh, sports. Uh, he got offers from USC, Clemson, Georgia, Alabama. So it's nice to see him going to the SEC. On three here, he is the wide receiver six currently. In these ranks here, we are in the beginning of May, getting you guys ready for your Debbie and C2C supplemental drafts. So the big question, Luigi, is um, before we get into uh, watching his film, uh, crowded uh, depth chart on the on the wide receiver room at Tennessee. Do we think we see uh, Mike play this year? Crowded depth depth chart. Yeah, it's it's uh you know I think they'll sprinkle him in early because he is got he's a top uh, top top tier athlete. I mean he's got first round traits as far as ath athleticism goes, but it's a crowded room. You got Father Time in there. Brew McCoy still there. McCoy. Yeah, <laughs> they brought Chris Brazell over in the transfer portal. They've got. Uh, Dante Thornton, my guy, he's actually from Baltimore, Maryland, my city, my hometown there. Former uh, so, duck. Yeah, former duck. But he's yeah. a 24 mile per hour guy. Just toss that in there. He's fast. Dante Thornton's right. fast. So they're going to be using him. Got Squirrel White in the slot. And then you got Mike Matthews projected to uh, uh, sprinkle him behind him in the slot. Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to see that. Uh, we're going to get to the film room here, guys, and you're going to see him used, uh, you know, out wide and in the slot. So he's got some scheme versatility. So uh, let's not waste any more time, man. Let's get right over to the film room. All right, Mike Matthews got a little run uh, in the uh, spring game here. So I, I, I wanted to start off with this clip. Awesome. You know, didn't really get to see the release off the line of scrimmage. But again, nice. way to maintain his balance there. Yeah, so he's at the bottom of the screen. Looks like it's just a go route. Look like he got some quick separation there. By the time he got the ball, he must have did some defensive manipulation there. We didn't see. He's quick. He's very yeah, quick. Yeah, he is quick. So, you know, this is a senior highlights here. Nice making that guy miss. You know, I watched this, and I didn't think he looked super fast. But, man, you got to love the uh, the vision. Let's look at mm -hmm. it one more time. You know, again, you know, making this guy miss right here. Gets up field. Making that look, I love defensive manipulation. You see how he made that guy twist his hips like that, and then he cuts back. I mean, really good field vision with the ball in his hand. So it looks like he's got some good yak ability. Oh yeah, so, Dick. Yeah, he's he with special special teams. This kid played defensive back as well, I believe. I mean, he's, again, he's a he's a first round talent. I mean, athletically, he's he's got exactly what you want. It, it's exactly how you draw him up. Like so, I said, we talked about he played in the slot. He had some, you know, position versatility. But again, then you look at the wheels here. He's Oof. got wheels, man. Yeah, he runs in the four fours. Yeah, that's what we he, said at the beginning of the show, right? Let's just take he, a look at that again. Yeah, he's not going to have any trouble acclimating to the SEC. 
can just I really? love these guys take yeah, I mean look at this guy. He he can't even get him and he had a pretty no. good way to get a, an angle on him. Yeah, it doesn't even look like he's trying either. I mean, he's going he's just so smooth. So great I really catch. like, you know, great catch again. Um just again the agility, ball skills, hands goes that's up gets not, the ball. Yeah, that's that's not that's not easy to do. That's great. It's not easy to do. Yeah, that's, You're absolutely that's special. Right. Look a little bit more yak here. Awesome. But again, just just the speed. Ooh, he is good smooth. acceleration. Yeah, excellent acceleration. Good blocking. And they got him up. What he's? I think he's listed at one eighty six lately. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he's gaining weight. He's he's a. Uh, he'll probably be a one ninety five guy. I, I assume. A little bobble here, but you know, kind of shows you his 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 strength a little bit. You know, the guys are knocking him, and he's stays on on point. Good concentration with the ball, but again, just good balance, good strength, holds on to the ball. Where is he? Can just show it. Yeah. I wish I, I want to see with him. I want to see the route manipulation. Mm -hmm. I really want to see that. I want that yeah. to be something in his in his toolkit. Because if yeah. he can get that on, you know, if he can master that side of the game, sky is the limit. Well, he had a little right at the top of the stem there. He he had a little shimmy. So yeah, I mean that that's the, the, for all of these these players, right? I mean that's what it comes down to. You know, they, can they create space when they get to the college level? They should be creating space. We're talking about them here on on, you know. Um, yeah. Oh yeah. So they they, 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 they should be. So they, they should be doing that. But again, just you know, quick turnaround. Yeah. Gets a feel quickly. Acceleration. Good stiff arm. Physicality. It's just got another display of fantastic ball skills and hands. Ooh. Concentration comes up with the ball with the contact. Awesome. Yeah. I mean, it's really, really nice. Now you talk about defensive manipulation. I mean, good quick fire here. Really, I like this route a lot coming off. Yeah. You know, well, just really quick right off the ball. Good I love how he extends. He's always extending with his hands. It's awesome. That's mm -hmm. his natural instinct. So you were talking before about his agility, looking at the Ooh. the jump here. Yeah, he's just an athlete, you know, played basketball, we talked about. He ran track. I mean, so basketball I mean, all is his uh, first true love, he said. Yeah. So he um, loves basketball, but he's going to have to give it up because he's a very special prospect. Yeah. And uh, so, you know, I like, uh, you know, blocking it was on uh -oh. his uh, senior film here. And, you know, me and uh, guys that get physical, and I just love the tenaciousness. Oh, yeah. You know, love like that. Three uh, three clips here to end the video with him just again, really getting physical and really putting guys out. I mean, there was we was playing defensive back. He came up and just put a lick on this player. So wow, he's got a, he's got a little bit of dog in him. He's got a little bit of uh, got some fight. He's got some fight in him. So um, that is the the quick film. But look, man, it looks like he's got good ball skills. I mean, he's got you know, the ability to create space. It looks like, I mean, it's hard to tell on these films, but um, you know, the speed looks like he's got some wheels. So it's an exciting prospect. I can see him in our C2C supplemental drafts, probably round three, round four, him coming off the board. So what do you yeah, think of I, him as a, what do you think of him as an overall prospect? I love him, man. I've got him circled on my uh, board. The thing is I want, I am taking a little bit of a wait and see approach with a lot of these freshmen. Mm -hmm. You know, if I can try to trade for them next year or trade for them when they are actually showing something, mm -hmm. uh, that, that's kind of my um, approach right now. But okay. I think he's got all the talent in the world. I think he's got first round traits and the mm -hmm. balls in his court, really. You know, yeah. it's up to him if he's going to develop into that first round caliber. Yeah. Uh, and I prospect. and I think his his real opportunity, like we talked about, is going to be in 2025 when that yeah. clears out of you know, Squirrel White and McCoy and, yes. and Thornton and Thornton, all those guys. Yeah. You know, all those guys are going to get, you know, into the NFL draft next year. So Luigi, appreciate it, man. Always appreciate your uh, commentary in these film reviews. Uh, we've been doing a ton of these guys. Hit that subscribe button if you're, you know, this is your first time here. Welcome. Um, but we're going to be doing these from now until the fall. So uh, if we haven't covered your favorite freshman, I'm sure uh, it'll be here soon. So uh, thanks for watching, everyone.